Well, guys, this is where we're at right now. I went down, bought another solenoid, stuck that in, and jump started it, disconnected it, let it idle for about 5 10 minutes or so, then turned it off. Went to start it again, and nothing happened. I just talked to a mechanic guy and he said that I might have burnt out the battery by having a continuous draw off of it for the starter, but my alternator should be, well, hold on, let me uh, hook this all up, start it back up again, and then disconnect the battery and read what the voltages are across the uh, terminals. When the battery's disconnected to see if they're if the alternator is putting anything out. Okay, well I got the uh, battery disconnected. Bolts coming from my alternator. Oh man, the battery died on this thing now. Fourteen and a half volts. Well, it looks like my alternator is not uh, not doing anything. Or I mean, it looks like it's working all right. Now let's disconnect this. Get this out of the way. Hook it back up to the battery. I'm going to put the camera down. We're going to see what happens. I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to turn off my engine. Crystal's car is still running. Here, hold on. Our little Jeep Cherokee, yeah. Big old 32 inch tires of awesomeness, yeah. Okay, let me turn this damn thing off. Now I'm going to put the camera right here. All right, come on, stay up. All right, yeah, like you guys are gonna see anything that way, right? Ha, ah, great. Come on. Okay. So it's all hooked up. Now I'm gonna turn it off and try to turn it back on. If there's any juice in this battery, it should at least kick over a little bit. Thing. You think I fried the battery? The battery just will not hold a charge. When I tested it with the meter, it showed 12 volts. 12, actually 12 and a half volts, but that don't mean nothing. You can't really go off of that because the battery is going to register 12 volts, even if it's a dead battery, because it just, you know, just because it does. And just because it measures the same voltage or that type of voltage doesn't mean it has enough current in it. So, I think I probably fried the battery. Maybe. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. 